speaker, I'd like to thank the gentleman from Virginia as well. Uh, and I rise in opposition to HR 6094. You know, there's been a lot of talk about what small businesses think about this law. We put it in the name of the bill. Well, let me give you his perspective of a small business owner for 29 years. I am this week, maybe not right now, they might have left, paying overtime to one of my employees uh, because they're working extra hours, because we're extra busy at this time of year. And you know what that means when I pay them extra money? That means I'm making more money because we've got more hours that we're billing out. And all I'm doing is sharing it with the employees who otherwise are spending less time with their families. That's why we pay overtime pay. It's a pretty basic concept. The problem is, if you delay this rule for six months, uh, you will deny Americans $600 million in pay during that time. Uh, 4.2 million Americans will be newly eligible for overtime pay under the proposed rule, and another 8.9 million working Americans will have their overtime protections strengthened under this rule. But let's just make sure people really understand what it's about. The current level that is in place for overtime is $23,400. The federal poverty line for a family of four, Mr. Speaker, is $24,300. We're asking people to work for overtime, extra hours for free, who are living below the federal poverty line at the current level. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And as an employer, I would feel terrible that I have an employee putting 60 hours a week in and living below the federal poverty line. So the problem is there are some employers and some business models that simply aren't sufficient because they're taking advantage of the current overtime rule because it's so antiquated from 2004. And that's simply why we have to have it increased. Only 7% of the full-time salary workforce right now is under that rule. And if you go back to 1975, that was at 60% would have been. Even with this rule, we're only bringing that up to a third of full-time salaried workers. It is long overdue. So what does this bill do? This would delay it for six months. Well, let's be honest. This isn't about delaying it for six months. This is about trying to kill the bill outright. This is about trying not to have an increase in overtime pay because it was very clear from the hearings that a lot of these businesses make money off their current model. And we've seen that in the economy. Wages have generally been flat, although recently we've seen a little uptick, but corporate profits have soared, CEO profits have soared, stocks uh, market has soared. The only thing left behind are wages, and this is one of those things to deal with it for someone who could be living on the federal poverty line, giving free hours in to an employer who I would argue needs a better business model. What will happen if this rule goes in effect? One of three things. First, you'll see people working fewer hours for no less pay and able to spend more time with their family or time to get a second job if they need to make additional money to support their family. Or second, they'll receive more compensation in their current jobs in the form of overtime pay. Or third, uh, many unemployed or underemployed people will see new opportunities for jobs uh, for, or extra hours at their current jobs once those extra hours are no longer worked uh, for free, instead spread out among workers. It is a scare tactic to say that people are going to be fired and lose work before the holidays. I am an employer. I am happy. I make money this week because I'm paying someone overtime. I know I'm making even more money for my business. I learned this once when I talked to a very successful business owner in Wisconsin about taxes. And he said, I don't mind paying taxes. If I'm making money, I pay taxes. If I'm not making money, I'm not paid. That's the way it should be. That's how I look at this. I want to share it with my employees because if they're making the sacrifice away from their families, that's why we have overtime and pay in place. That's why we have this rule in place, and this delay is a bad idea, and I yield back my time. Gentlemen.